Yo ninjas and Kaio, welcome to this new series of daily videos to level up your power moves. I will upload one video per day from December 1st until December 24th. In each video I'm gonna show you some exercises or a little combo to improve your power. We're gonna start easy in the first episode, so you can still follow them if you are a beginner as well, and we are gonna increase the level step by step. The goal of this 24 video program is to improve your power move control and create new combos and opportunities with the power moves you have. Beside this program I'm also gonna post daily on Patreon from December 1st to December 24th. In my daily Patreon videos I'm gonna focus on how to be more creative with the power moves you have and with the combos that I'm teaching in these tutorials. So make sure to join my Patreon, link in the description and let's start! a very useful exercise to learn elbow tracks or elbow air flares. All you need to know before attempting this is being able to hold an elbow freeze on both sides on the left and on the right for at least 10 seconds. If you can hold the elbow freeze longer and with different leg shapes it would be even better. It means you have a better control on your elbow. If you cannot hold the elbow freeze for at least 10 seconds don't even attempt this exercise but work on your basics first. You can start this exercise in two ways, from the left elbow freeze or from the right elbow freeze. Later I'm going to show you a little bit of a more advanced version of the exercise, but for the moment let's start from the elbow freeze. So you can choose, if you have more control on the right, you can start from the right, if you have more control on the left, you can start from the left. In my case, for me, it's a little bit better starting from the left. So I'm just going to do an elbow freeze with my legs widely open, like this. From here, I want to move my weight towards the right elbow and switch to the right elbow. You can do it in different ways. The first way is just moving the weight and switching like this, so in this way. The second way is doing a hop, kind of like this. This is up to you. Just make sure your legs are straight and wide. To do the hop, usually you have to bend your legs a little bit. If you do it, I recommend keeping your legs in a frog or a squat position kind of like this and to bounce your legs in this way. The important thing is that they are still wide and open even if you bend them. So not like this but wide, something like this. I want to do it without the jump but as I said if you want you can add the jump as you prefer. From the left I'm gonna move the weight towards the right. Like this. Try to get comfortable with this transition from the left to the right. At first, you don't need to hold the right elbow freeze for a long time after the transition. So you can start on the left, do the transition on the right, if you spin clockwise like me, and then lean your feet on the floor. Once you get comfortable, try to hold the right elbow freeze at the end. So hold the left elbow freeze, do the transition on the right and hold the right elbow freeze and really try to master it. So hold the left freeze, do the transition and hold the freeze here. From the right elbow, if you spin clockwise like me, you wanna do a step forward with the left elbow and cross it in this way. And then from here, move the right hand back to reach the left elbow freeze. So you wanna just do this and then this directly from the right elbow from here come and come as you notice we are kind of like doing a spinning handstand but on our elbows so let's try the whole thing if you start from the right you should do right to left to right again you should end in the same freeze as you start i will show you in both ways first i'm going to show you left right left and then i'm going to show you right left right Left, right, and left. Right, left, right. Next step, if you started from the left, it's time for you to try it in the other way, starting from the right. You have to master the start in both ways. In this way, you will get more control and you will be able to do multiple rounds. So again, I'm gonna show you a little bit faster. If you did left, right, left, like this, left, right and left it's time for you to do right left right right left and right same thing in reverse so if you did right left right you will do left right left 
After mastering both ways, try to do multiple runs, exactly like a spinning handstand. Now we are doing only three steps. One, two, and three. Or one, two, and three. So it's kind of like if in the spinning handstand we are doing only three steps. So one, two, and three. But you want to keep going, right? Same as the spinning handstand, try to go ahead and do more. Start slowly and really try to control each freeze. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more challenging if you use the momentum, if you don't do it so slow. Sometimes it could be a little bit easier because with the momentum you can correct yourself a little bit. But if you really try to hold each freeze for one second, then go to the other one second, other one second, it would be a little bit more challenging because you stop the momentum each time but you will develop much more control if you really want to have very solid foundations and really solid air flares and elbow tracks really master each freeze so let's try slowly I'm gonna start from the left you can start from which side you want it doesn't matter the important thing is that you try to keep doing multiple rounds Let's move on. How to evolve this spinning handstand on your elbows to make it look more like an elbow track and to slowly get used to the elbow track. The first thing you want to try to do if you spin clockwise like me, when going from the right elbow to the left one, to tuck your head in, in this way, to tuck your chin in. So don't look at the floor anymore when you go from the right to the left, but look up. From here, from the right elbow, look up in this way and after looking up go to the left elbow try this transition with your chin in until it feels comfortable if you start from the left side when you go from the left to the right you can look at the floor so from the left to the right you can look here at the floor from the right to the left you have to tuck the head in. Why we are doing that? Because we want to get used to the air flare or the elbow track feeling. When you do air flares or elbow tracks, when you are on the left hand and you go to the right, you look at the floor. But then when you jump, you look up in the air. And with this head movement, you are getting used to this feeling. This is very important, very crucial. If you don't do it, if you skip this step of tucking the head in, you will always try to look and to search for the floor. In the air flare, instead, there is one moment when you jump from one arm to the other, and in this moment, you cannot rely on the floor. You are flying. And if you are scared of this jump in the air, your legs are always gonna fall down. So you really have to get used to not look, not rely on the floor anymore. So the first step to not rely on the floor anymore is tucking the head in during the transition from the right to the left. Same thing for the spinning handstand and for walkover air flares or for vertical high air flares. If you wanna learn them and start with a spinning handstand, try from a spinning handstand to do left hand, right hand, you can look at the floor but when you go from the right hand to the left hand tuck your head in in this moment then while you land on the left hand you can look at the floor again and then look at the floor here but when you are here don't look at the floor anymore exactly like you would do in an airplane i'm just gonna focus on the transition to make you understand about the head movement look at the floor look at the floor don't look anymore Second step to make it look more like an elbow track, just add a little bounce with your legs from the right to the left. So again, if you start from the left, you can start with your legs straight in the same way, so like this. But when you go to the right elbow freeze, here, you have to crunch your legs. From here, do this. Crunching your legs doesn't mean bending them backwards in this way, so your legs shouldn't be like this, but they should be in this position here. So if your legs are in this way on the right, from here it's very easy to bounce them a little bit and to do a hop and to hop from one side to the other. Keep tucking the head in to make it look like an airplane. First of all, you have to make sure you can do an elbow hop on both sides. So on the right side, an elbow hop in this way but also on the left the right is important for the push for the bounce the left hop is important to get used to the landing part so you are used to land after a hop but to stay in the freeze so in the landing part focus more on the landing of the elbow hop like this land and stay a lot of people can't do air flares or elbow track 
because they are not comfortable on the landing arm. So if they try elbow hops or hand hops on the landing arm, they push with their legs, but then maybe they fall. Same thing on the hand. You shouldn't do a hand up like this and then immediately let your legs fall, but you should do a powerful hand up. Stay in the freeze position with your legs up in the air. Hop and stay. Hop and stay. On the elbow, it's a little bit easier to hold the freeze because you can help yourself with the right hand. This will take time, so first thing, focus on the head. When you really master it and you master multiple rounds of spinning elbow handstand by tucking your head in each time you go through the transition from the right to the left arm, first master it, then slowly try to add the jump. If you add the jump and you manage to do multiple rounds, you are very, very close to learn elbow tracks. If you just add a little bit more speed and rotation, it will already look like an elbow track. So last thing to make this exercise even more advanced. If you learn this last exercise, you will really have a very good control on the elbow track later on. So the exercise will be the same as before, but we're adding a handstand. When we're gonna add a handstand? After the landing part. If you want, you can start directly from, from a handstand. So again, start from the basic spinning elbow handstand first, without tucking your head in, without jumping, without using a handstand. Then the second step, tuck your head in. Third step, add a little hop with your legs, a little bounce. Last step, extra step, do the spinning handstand that you did in the beginning without tucking your head in, so you can always look at the floor in this case, and you don't have to jump. Just do handstand, elbow, elbow, handstand. Elbow, elbow, handstand. Elbow, elbow, handstand. And so on. If you are even more advanced, you can mix these exercises together. So you can do handstand, elbow, jump with your head in, you're landing on the left, and then handstand again. It should look like you will do handstand to elbow track to handstand again. This is the concept. If you really master these exercises, you should be able to do handstand to elbow track to handstand. Get more creative with this combo and with your power moves, join my Patreon link in the description. As I said in the beginning, we are gonna increase the level step by step. If you wanna follow this program and try these combos, maybe you can try to post your videos and tag me on my Instagram at kayofalcro so I can check your progress about these combos and exercises and I will share your posts on my Instagram story. Doesn't matter if you do it fast, you can do it slowly. See you tomorrow with a new combo and new exercises. Yo ninjas!